If you they look me koro koro, or you they hear me whine whine, I say you turn that giddy on top of the chairman television station, Wazobia TV channel 98 on top of Go TV cable, Star Time channel 195, my TV channel 17, UHF 57, where all you need to do now to turn your antenna small and on top of DSTV channel 259. As we do every weekday, that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, from 6 30, go to 7 30. We don't come again with all the action to do when they come and smoke inside Nigeria political boxing ring. We go discuss the matter, give you license to chuck party side and talk up the way the thing take for body. Depending on how you they count or how you take some mathematics reach, 39, 38 days to the election. But we know the date, February 16th. If you know Sabi count, just mark this one for your calendar. Remember, say every citizen of this country, when they reach the age to vote, you get right, I go speak with English, to exercise your rights to franchise, that is, come out and vote for your preferred candidate. You go vote. If you don't get PVC, a waste of time. What in you gain? My name now is Ezogo Chokwode. And as usual, I know the alone inside studio. I deal with my brother. When Sabi wear well, as they concern the political matter, as it is. Oh, a beautiful evening to our wonderful viewers the watchers right now. We don't carry that same Ogbonga program as it is hot. Come on our way. That political program with the sunshine now with them. Different political activities where they happen for both Nigeria. Uh, today, one of the different as usual, we'll get interesting stories. And beside the interesting stories we'll get for now, we'll also get um, one strong guest uh, who will also join us. This person, now somebody will say at least uh, a lot of Nigerians will participate. Okay, who will be this guest? Now, personally, they vie for, vie for a, a particular polit a political um, position for uh, your state, and they will go bring up. Put for the hot seat. Ask him questions where he will revolve them around the position where they where he won't contest on. And also at least uh, related with some um, issues where we will also talk about. So at make we know whether through through this person, whether they catch it enough to see him. I want to represent my people. Three solid telephone line I want to free line. I will go for now. We we'll make now call at the end of the day. Make now express myself. The payment make now lay down for us. My name never teacher, my name remains Unkubi, and this is us. Our first story got to do with good news, <laughs> but some people don't come and talk, say, now only good, and they say the news never follow, because the two people when they involved, we never hear from the second people. But our minister, uh, Oga Chris Ngige, don't come and talk, say, the federal government, based on the love, when they get to, and the work when they know, say, then they do, uh, say they don't do the small when they feel do. So you set to the quarter, when on day since November 4th, with uh, academic staff union you know, of universities, joint body of those women say they teach inside our university, where they call ASU. And it talks say 15 billion. Hmm. Now in the government look, say, ah, we need to release this money because we don't like our children, they sit down for house. We don't release the money. And uh, before the end of today, the alerts go enter. <laughs> but ASU talk say, they're not there for 419 relationship. Oh. They're not one here, say, we don't release the money. Somebody don't sign. As who say they hold their phone like this, they don't charge up. Say they don't hear ping ping, call open now. See, say they don't give them that money. They can't carry ATM. Go, go check. Say they can't confirm, say the money enter. They even withdraw small because they don't say, he <laughs> be like, say the way the federal government they behave. The money fee enter, bounce back. They say they go even withdraw up before they agree this particular one. But this one are good news too. Young men and women inside of Bodo, Nigeria, when they sit down for house because of strike, and when they come out, they beg government. They also they beg us to say, hey, education are the bedrock of every nation's existence. If we want to make this our country still there together, and we get people when we say they go, I go speak another big English, they go contribute with their sense to the development of this country. Make we ensure say, all these strike, 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 like say we be Abu Yang. We know they see him again inside this our country. Now our first story on top of Asile Hall. And from that particular first story, maybe also related with this one also get to do with um, uh, at least the NLC and the other John body, Labour John body, where they protest, say look, oh, say federal government never address the issue of a uh, minimum wage, where they do it, where they are approved. And according to the report, we get, they talk say like in the last three days, say they don't hold like two meetings. Inconclusive, inconclusive. Now it be the report they just get from that particular meeting. And the court of say look, oh, if by yesterday, after yesterday, they don't see any conclusive uh, report based on the meeting, or perhaps based on the agreement, say they go do it, they go, they go protest seriously today. And from the report where it shows, where it are here, and we hear say for different parts, say, at least that particular protest will play out for different uh, part of the, the, the country. And they say they carry their placard, they protest, say, look, oh, that agreement, uh, we well, don't hold with now. Make them make sure we do it, now seal them up. And then to go, so go for that. What in, uh, what in NLC they demand for? NLC they demand for, say, make federal government 
The agreement they get to get to do with minimum wage, the amount they agree on, 30,000. Make them forward them to National Assembly. Make National Assembly as central, as central and say, yes, we don't see them, we don't approve to them. Say anything short of that, they're not going to do it. They're not going to accept them at all. Say that it is either protest or strike. Now, what they get to do with the NLC and the federal government over minimum wage matter? Our third story got to do with talk when we said the Oga of INEC come out, come the talk. And for this talking, come and talk, say, Nigerians, so oh, beware. People say, what's happen? He talk the second time so that they will not say the matter serious. He say, Nigerians, so oh, beware. They say, hey. This is why when you shout this thing two times, so you will close your eyes the second time. He say, when he talk and he talk, and then they will know. He say, Nigerians, so oh, beware. They say, what's happen? Nigerians, beware, beware. What's happen? He come, come and come and say, politicians. Then they go around. They price PVC now. Say, you know the way we say for village, you know, people go there on that tree. See, find them. Say that so that they call people down. PVC, how much you want to pay? We go pay you, collect money so that we can vote. Say, make Nigerians draw their two ears as they give them advice. Say, not give your PVC to anybody, collect money, oh, no matter how the money take be. Because once you give up, <laughs> what did happen to Esau? For Old Testament, now it will happen to you. You don't say your better right. And once you say your better right, you are useless. Anyhow, when they behave, you don't know, complain because you don't collect the one we say, he go cook you pot of soup for one weekend, but you go suffer for the remaining four years. Now, why they talk to the Nigerians, they shine their eyes. Say these bad politicians, them, them too don't set trap for them so that as they come, they go fall inside. <laughs> Remember, I say we talk about. February the 16th, mm. important date in the history of this country. Now, our third story on top of Asi the Hub. And from that third story, we could give, give that this final story. And we get to do it in the worker where the governor of Boronu State, that is Alaji Kashim Shetima, and the elders um, of um, Boronu, where they carry worker, go meet Oga Presdo, over Boko Haram Mata, and according to that is the footage we will see, uh, Oga Shetima, while he was busy, while he was busy at least uh, talking to Oga Presdo on um, the insecurity issues, we don't day, we don't day on the right for Inside Bruno, handkerchief, 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 food for in table. I think they talk, in they cry, they clean, they clean, they clean. Eat that handkerchief, don't they soap, you go drop out, carry on that one. They talk about how the situation of Boko Haram, what the Boko Haram all cost for Boronu State. According to the report, they say, don't they so devastating the points where they say, even they said, they don't get liver again. You can't they call on God, God, President. Say, oh, God, President, they beg you. We are begging you to please. To please help us address this issue of Boko Haram. So you don't nearly, you don't nearly chop or you don't nearly take or, uh, take, uh, overtake uh, the, the entire state. So they can't they beg seriously. So make other places make it at least uh, sure say Boko Haram, uh, they have put them to an extreme and uh, made them conclude them, made them clean them up. Say how to say uh, their their mind now nah, if they shake onto onto that particular issue. And then um, uh, the spokesperson of our president will be uh, in media aid. Okay, okay, fair me additional. You can talk, come come and talk. Say look. Oh, on, the, on behalf of Oga President, say no wala. Say Oga President don't at least assure them, say no wala, nothing will happen. Say then go step up their own responsibility to make sure say, Boko Haram, what don't they hear? You know, you know the stand side, they're not going to hear them again. That got to do with the Wakawe, the governor of Mboronu, and them other elders who they carry go meet them, Oga President for, for Abuja over Boko Haram matter as our final story. We don't hear the first story is when we carry come. But we go Waka enter break. When we come back, our Ogun get visitor. Honorable Akin Femi Balogun, when we say, hey, he don't look when he say, the kind things where they happen, where he come from for your state. Mm. <laughs> not be something where he go fold in hand, just accept like that. Mm. Now, why he can't throw in heart, enter inside the ring? When I remember, say, me and Nunkubi, we don't listen to talk and say, if you young, yes, our belly they sweet us. <laughs> because now young people we want. Mm -hmm. From even the number of uh, registered voters where I neck bring out, over 50%. Now, young people. So, if we get young people, welcome at us, say they won't lead. Yes. Why we not go give them the support? Yes. And any political party, would they give them opportunity? Now, here we bring socialist party. One tell mm -hmm. us, say, ah, and I never heard this party before. Today, now, PPN, now with the carry cup. When we go this way, come back, we'll continue the matter based on as either who could be complete. Oh. Open your mouth now. Oh. <laughs> To our city halls, we don't go waste time. We don't get our bonga visitor, honorable Akin Femi Balogun inside studio. Now you get this handshake. 
Thank you, say you carry Wakako. Thank you, Yo, thank you, Mahaga. And the way you take dress, uh, you really show say <laughs> tradition and culture. They're very, very important. Very, very important. Uh, and very, uh, very important. Honorable Balobuna, People's Party of Nigeria (PPN). Once again, welcome to Asi the Hot. Thank you, sir. Uh, make we no waste. I'mo just go straight into uh, the matter where we carry come today, uh, moving forward. Now I go start with one because this one they're very, very important. As we don't they hear people, they cry. Mm -hmm. uh, the governor of uh, Boronu State and the elders. Then go visit President Mohamed Buhari when be commander in chief of the armed forces. Mm. Then come, they cry, they give him. They mm. tell him, say, waiting Boko Haram, don't use the ICO. Mm. They don't like him, oh. they don't suffer, oh. mm. and they need help. Oh. I won't ask you, if for several years we don't they do something to use deal with a particular problem, shall I say the method we they use na old idea and we need young idea? What be that young idea? When go ensure say this problem, at least I know say I've been there university first. When Ogaya Radu have been given that code at that time, say make police do everything when they do to you see say this book Aram Jagula people that time oh made them stop. And for 2019, we see they get this same problem. Uh, if you go suggest as a young person, what do you think is be the best solution to this problem? Uh, thank you, Maga. Uh, waiting, I think say uh, it be the best solution for this. Uh, continuous uh, killings here and there. They keep changing names. Mm. Today you will hear bandit. Tomorrow you will hear Boko Haram. Another time you will hear s men Sometimes you will hear gunmen. Or oh, known gunmen. Uh, and gun, known, known, known gunmen. Government. So, so the name has been changing, but the action has been the same. Mm. So what I think uh, should happen this time around is, I think this same old set of leaders should leave the space mm. for the younger ones. And then um, we need somebody to build a security policy mm. that will be very strong that the military men will work with. Instead of parabolating about the, uh, beating about the bush, doing all sort of, uh, using all sort of formulas that doesn't work. And uh, I won't lie to you. Uh, my people used to say kokoroto njegba idigba lowa people where they do this thing they know themselves mm. and they are still same this same nigeria i like the way where you take give us this answer say for young person we need plan when our military people feel work with mm -hmm. yeah. because if you don't get plan you don't go know where to start from That's you don't right. go know where you they move go mm -hmm. and we appreciate this particular answer i did very sure say my brother won't be going ask a mm. question we get to do with nlc but make i just collect the talk for inside the mouth uh, sorry, as an elder, no elder, verse. Elder for where? Elder for where? Oh, no verse, okay. Now, we don't still see, say, in the matter when consign NLC, strike, 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 just be like the only option when, uh, if you use them, then go make government sit up. Now, people when they talk about strike, go see, if to say we don't strike, they don't go release the money now. As Ngige don't claim, say, they don't release the money. You think, say, any young solution there to this problem, when go make ASU, not the strike, or make government not that they committed after they enter inside the agreement. I believe this one a spiritual problem. Uh, my brother, it's not a spiritual problem. Mm. And if you still call it a spiritual problem, mm. uh, I think uh, you, are a, you are right to some extent. Mm. Uh, ASU is related to education. And for education, young people are the beneficiary of this uh, uh, education. Mm. So if we cannot do uh, a, a, a make a policy or make an agreement or make um, a, a system, build a system that will make things work easily. How, how, how it's, it's so barbaric for, for us to, know, uh, to think that the best solution to get something, our right, from the government is for us to strike. Mm. Uh, we, we, anytime they are, anybody is going on strike, I used to think that. Uh, but this, we have the, you know, these resources there now. Mm -hmm. we, are, we have this constitution that say, okay, this must be, is due to this person. Mm -hmm. Then give this to this person. So when the time comes, this issue of minimum wage has been a recurring issue year in, year out. So we need to do, we need a young brain, young uh, head mm -hmm. to come in to come and do the right, it, it's just basic thing, doing the right thing at the right time, that's just it. Once you do the right thing at the right time, you, are, you, you, are, you have less problem to solve. Mm. 
Okay, uh, make, I, make I bring up from this other angle. We, of course, they related to it in uh, my brother could just talk. And this one get to do with the minimum wage matter with them. Um, the matter we don't do for a very long time. For a couple of time with them, um, NLC and them, um, the government. Okay, uh, waiting the report with the NLC, they talk. We say, look, who, all press do. We don't agree saying at 30K you want to pay us. Okay, forward the agreement to National Assembly. Make National Assembly sign. So, okay, we don't see them. Before at least uh, for them to do this, this particular action now, way where they play out. Say if you say now action way the government in place suppose they now the kind of like way you expect the government in place supposed to they carry uh, considering the fact the election don't they don't they don't they day very very near. And then also now also further ask national assembly will be the people we suppose they are the receiving and we perhaps suppose say okay we don't see them. They don't also say summer summer. They also supposed to suppose we intervene for this matter. So that uh, at least they uh, made them know say yes, now part of their responsibility. Hmm. Thank you, my brother. Uh, it's the responsibility of the executive mm -hmm. to, to pay every labor, every single labor in this country. And, uh, but the policy aspect has to do with the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. And when, uh, the, the, when you play politics with what you're supposed to do on a free hand, then you will begin to have problems. You know, in this country, we play politics with everything. Mm. Let me say they play politics with everything because I will not open my eyes down and allow things to run the wrong way. Mm. Um, uh, the, uh, the issue of minimum wage, constitutionally, there is a particular month or years, mm. number yeah, of yeah, years, yes. that the supposed to, yeah, uh, yeah. government supposed to review it and increase it mm. accordingly. And if you look at the other countries, the way they are doing it, mm -hmm. so it's we, I even heard uh, some, some uh, months ago that in Canada, nurses, they, they came out and- Said the money uh, went and they paid them too much. Too much. In fact, the first time I, 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 saw, yes, I, 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 saw, I said, this is fake news. I have to research it. So after I said, I found out that it was true. I, I, I now open my that can this happen in Nigeria? Mm. <laughs> so the, the, the truth is that we, the purchasing power, if you look at the purchasing power out, out there now, it does not tally with the minimum wage mm. people are receiving. Mm. So I think there is, there, there is need for an urgency or emergency mm. in that sector mm. to, for government, executive government to sit down and restructure this thing and, and allow the free will to, 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 to move on and let, let people receive their wages accordingly at the right proportion mm -hmm. and at the right time. Mm -hmm. And everybody, everybody will be happy. There will not be, I want to strike. There will not be, I uh, want to protest. So, and why is it that, because the same question keep kicking in my uh, stomach now, that why is it that, okay, the delay to this, particular moment. Mm -hmm. It ought to have been paid or increased before this, before now, but they delay it now, and now people are still waiting to receive the alert. So uh, I think the best solution is just for the t right thing to be done at the right time, and we need somebody who will be doing that. Mm -hmm. Now talking about the right thing, when uh, we go do at the right time, we know say your decision uh, to come out, come talk, say okay, oh, as the matter they like this now, uh, we don't look all the thing when they happen for inside the, or your state. Mm -hmm. I won't join the People's Party of Nigeria, PPN, and I won't do everything when they my power to you. See, say the people when they represent, or oh, uh, when I go represent uh, for the federal legislature that is from Abuja, I uh, say you go do everything when you feel do to you. See, say uh, their life better. Mm -hmm. We won't ask you uh, what will be the situation now. If you go give assessment or if you go look, finish, say, okay, oh, uh, see the condition where my people they now. Mm -hmm. We won't know their condition so that we go now go take ask the question exactly. uh, based on say, okay, if you enter there, what, what will you be your to? plan? What will be their condition now? Ah, my brother, um, the condition of my constituency, if I get you right, sir, is that uh, demographically, uh, I'm from Okeogun, he's saying in particular. Mm -hmm. And he's saying is the hometown, the source, the ultimate source of Ashoke, the mm. fabric I'm wearing here. Mm. And um, he's saying an Okiogun, particular, because the area is called Okiogun. Okay. And we have 10 local governments there. Demographically, we, we're supposed to have 
like two or three senators in that Okiogun because we have 33 local governments in Oyo State. And sharing it into three, we have 11, 11 local government. So, and we, we have six senators. Out of six senators, if you share it, we're supposed to have at least two senators in that particular region. But they gave us just one senator. And we are even sharing it with Ogumosho, uh, with another three local government, making it 13 local government. That's number one problem, which, makes, which made it impossible for the normal allocation to come to that region. Mm. You know, they share allocation based on number of constituency mm. and number of local governments. And now, yeah, another problem on ground is that people are suffering a lot. Lack, there is lack of infrastructural facilities, and the few people that have had the opportunity to represent, they are not representing well. Mm. So, and for, I, I didn't just come out that I want to run, I want to, people call for me. Mm. They called me, they say, ah, uh, man, no, we see the kind of, because there is a particular NG, um, uh, society group in my hometown, they call them IDU, Isaiah Development Union, mm. so which is from my hometown. They are into development. Any organization that is into, into development in my hometown, I joined them, I, I became a card carrying member, mm. and I contribute my quota into this. And they saw all those activities I've been doing. My father has been doing it as an executive in IDU. So, and at the end of the day, they say, at the start, they say, okay, we would like you, uh, Balogun, to come and represent, which is my father. Mm. My father said, ah, no, you, don't, you, just, you want to be focused. You don't want to play politics. You don't want to do that. That boy, he has a son who is yeah, into politics, too. I don't know if you people can. They now say, okay, they now call for me. After interviewing me with eight other people, mm. eight other people cons in fact, all of them, they said, ah, this is the man we wanted. Mm -hmm. We want you, one, you are very young. In presently, I think I will be the youngest, the youngest uh, um, candidate yeah. in Nigeria now contesting for Federal House of Rep. Mm -hmm. So which is one advantage over others. Mm -hmm. And then my ideology, in order to provide solution, the way I want to provide solution to that constituency, because the constituency is supposed to be the best constituency in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have f like four major mineral resources in that constituency that, are, that, so, that is untapped, that's supposed to be looked into for the development of that community and the entire nation. In that, co in that, com in that con uh, uh, constituency, we have limestone in one of the local governments. In another local government, we have gold. In another local government, in two of the four local governments that is under my constituency, we have crude oil mm. in this constituency. So with all these mineral resources, and we have it, and we are suffering. So this is the main reason why I've been fighting for the masses, and I've been, I've been uh, putting people in government on their toes to do the needful. Do you know that as big as my hometown is, uh, it's, 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 it's like a, a metropolitan uh, town? But it's building up now to become a cosmopolitan uh, city. So, and uh, there's no single university, federal university in that place. The only thing we have there is the uh, uh, um, U National Youth Service Corps uh, uh, Center. So that's the only thing we have there. Every other thing that's supposed to be in that place, and uh, the state governor is not even really looking into that much. So this is the, these are the things that is pinning me. Do you know that um, uh, late Bishop Ajayi Crowder, mm. who translated English Bible, Bible, Bible to Yoruba, Bible. if you go to, if you visit his hometown today, you will weep. Mm. The, edu the level of education in that place, the facility of education, people are sitting on the ground. I know how many students in that, well, I was in year one, year two in my, in, uh, in my in tertiary institution. Mm -hmm. I know how many students in Okiogun that my dad, because my dad is a UN volunteer. Okay. So he's been going around doing that. So anytime he just, he would just come and say, ah, eh, 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 my son, please, I saw something to, I need to say to now. Do you, can you spare me 10,000? Can you spare me 5,000? And I've been doing that to supporting students that sometimes we miss to, uh, students on the road working because they cannot pay PTA levy, 200 Naira PTA levy. Many of them have told them that, uh, I, I will just tell them, please go. 
go and put that person in school, tell them I will be responsible for mm. throughout the... So that's what I've been doing, and people have been seeing it, and people recognize it, and I came from a very good... The reason why I use this bid is because I came from Balogun, Balogun's family. Mm. And Balogun's family, we, are the, we, are, we, we, all, we have a seat in Afin, which is palace. Well, palace. Inside palace. Down here. They ah, they know they, the record. In fact, they know us. So from that family, and that family is not even far from. If in fact, if you are, if you are in my family house, you'll be seeing uh, K uh, King's Palace. Mm -hmm. So and uh, King's King recognized my he, dad. He respect you now. Uh, now all this talk where you don't talk, now talk where you say they very clear. Say mm -hmm. uh, you don't highlight the quality from the place where you come from. And if they do things where things go make sense. Better. And you don't also talk about your background where people know. Say okay. Oh, uh, the better work when we say from your family, they're based on Balo, mm -hmm. where they don't do, where your mm -hmm. papa don't do. Now, many people look say, now nah, this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, but people also go talk and say, and uh, not be to just talk the thing, finish, mm -hmm. and identify him. Mm -hmm. uh, as a legislator, mm -hmm. nothing consign you to the do work where executive they do. They do. You get so. your work, mm -hmm. then get your work. Now, we're going to make you tell your people. Uh, and other Nigerians, when they want, so that they will feel, ask their own representative mm -hmm. or the candidates, what will be those things where you go do when they go begin? They see all these results, say executive they work and things they move and it they make sense. Thank you. Uh, the first and foremost, the, the, I, I, I will first of all create um, um, a micro assembly in my constituency, hmm. which will block the, the gap between legislator and the people because I'm representing people. Hmm. So now, what thing I want to do is I want to create, I go create a micro assembly within my constituency where people with brain, people who are cerebral, they will come together, discuss what thing they fight us, which one we should, we have plenty problem. Let's put everything on scale of preference. Mm. Which one should we solve first? Mm -hmm. this, is it university? Because I know that if university come, a lot of people will get work inside that university, mm -hmm. a lot of people will work, and we have a Ikere Gorge Dam. Mm. Which is number two project in my mind. That Ikere Gorge Dam is the is the one of its kind in Africa. Mm. There's nowhere you can find that kind of uh, dam again in Africa. Mm. So uh, this dam, we can make it a tourist center where people will come, white people will come, they will come and, and we'll be making money through it, we'll be making generating revenue. Mm. What I will do? I am not an executive. Well, what I will do as a representative of people is that. I will make sure that the executive do their diligent work. You go their, put they, them I go, their in fact, mm. I go put fire for their nyash. Mm. Make them make, make it hot where I see they hot. Mm. So so that they go do what things they supposed to do. And I will not relent until those things are done. Mm. Be, and then again, concerning those mineral resources where they my constituency, I will make sure I I push a bill, bills. That we that we uh, encourage the executive that we make them to look into all those mineral resources and give us make a quota for us make an MOU on how the sharing for you know for Niger Delta now then they fight mm -hmm. up and down mm -hmm. say uh, the, 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 the 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 sharing formula the, 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 their community is not developed they, they cannot see the uh, the mm -hmm. uh, benefits of oil producing community in their within their so I will not allow that to happen. What I will do is I will ensure as a I will also call other people. I will not make it a party thing. Mm -hmm. I will also call other representatives within my that jurisdiction. Okay, let's how, how can we achieve this? This thing will work for our people mm -hmm. and let's make a law. Let's support each one another, irrespective of the party. Mm -hmm. So let's put party aside and look for how we, we are going to develop our constituency, our community, mm -hmm. and our area mm -hmm. and our region in particular. Mm -hmm. So let's I will make a policy that we foster and make and, and ensure that there is proper implementation of all the necessary uh, policy and plan mm -hmm. on ground mm -hmm. to uh, explore, mm -hmm. to manage, mm -hmm. to, to, um, to give, in fact, to the, 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 main, the ultimate thing is the outcome. Because many people will not know about how they explore, how they do this, how they, but the ultimate thing is that they should, they, they should, they should, they should the put results. hand into all those untapped resources mm. and ensure all the benefits 
that, that comes is sheer evenly. Because this party, PPN, stands for equity and progress. Mm. So we ensure that equity, people experience equity and people experience progress. Uh, uh, based on that equity we just mentioned, um, make I also ask you this very important question. Because um, if we look at our population right now, the talk say at least um, say now youth be the domineering force and um, and then one of the major challenges we they get for every part of our society that the fact they look a lot of youth now they unemployed people will be say um, they don't even lose faith mm -hmm. for the system based on say uh, say uh, people with the rulers say they don't even think about them okay looking at your own constituency where they try vie for and also looking at everything where you also mention what it be that relationship that link we go also feel create between you and that domineering force. So at least um, if they talk about say advancement, development, at least now still youth go spare head down, or perhaps now youth go do it and go drive on. So what in with that relationship, how you want to involve youth or perhaps everybody in collectively to ensure say this particular dream so you see and come through. Thank you, my brother. The bedrock of any development is education. Mm. So what we are going to do as my plan, because I use we, because it, it won't be all, just myself. I can't do it alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what we are going to do is to ensure. Hey, honorable, just this talk, pause on, just pause on, because we get somebody for a telephone line. No, Allah. Just pause on. Um, Coach Joy, good evening. Welcome yeah. to Ask in the Heart. Good evening, Ona. Ona, good evening. Oh. We greet you, Coach Joy. Happy New Year. Take it. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. My first time this year. Happy New Year. We wish you the same. Well, now, well done. Thank you. Uh, well done. I they hear youth, youth, as I they listen to now. Mm -hmm. Yes. They hear youth. You know, this youth, youth, now be the problem we get for this Niger. Even the FDC government, where they rule us, yes. Yeah. All the things where they promise youth, they never do them. Mm. Because this youth to them, now them be a future. Hope, now them be a future leaders. Yes. So, so they're supposed to be, you know, given a place. Set so that not neglect them. Don't use them as talk. Hmm. Then let me go into what I want to say okay. about ASU. If ASU and federal government did not quicken up to send our children to school, they are going to regret it tomorrow. Hmm. Because these are children at home. And if you can re remember, by March, those people going for youth service will go. If they don't allow this, our, our children to do their clearance and do everything by that time, you know, it's not good. That's why we are seeing crime here and there. Mm -hmm. You know, those people that are saying idol, idol man is a devil workshop. Mm -hmm. Whatever they are dragging, federal government should mellow down and because of our youth and because of our students and give in to these uh, actual people because the, the minister has been begging them. The minister done the best, say, Make them pity our children. Mm. Because most of most of these our leaders, their children know they this Niger. Mm. They, they know they this Niger. And most of these are leaders, they don't get value for education. Because most of them are from Bakia and now they enter. That's mm. why you see this where they linger since November last year. Mm. And they are telling them to get patient, they will do this every day, meeting, meeting. Now when a PC drops for office, now that time they go do them. I beg, make a just stop here. This one, oh, I need thank you very, very much want. for this, your thank contribution. Thank you, have a nice day. And you nice too. Day. Okay, so... Sorry, uh, I want to correct okay. something from the thing that Koshi the, okay. just said now. He said, you, they are our future leader. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ma. Uh, we are not the future leader. The future is now. Mm. It's no more future again. Mm. Uh, I have a popular quote. I used to say... Um, we are the leaders of today. Children and teens are the leaders of tomorrow. tomorrow. We, the future is now. Is now. Mm. So don't let us look at uh, maybe tomorrow, next year, upper year is the future. The future is now. Mm -hmm. uh, so based on um, the way to the answer before. Uh -huh. um, uh, that's on, uh, on uh, education. Your, exactly, involvement with um, your youth and them um, for your community. In my community, I have scanned the youth because many of my followers, they are youth. Mm. Uh, I attract a lot of youth because they, they, they see the program and they, they, they love it. Uh, actually, before the election, I have a program for them. Uh, I, spoke, uh, I look into what youth ventures into mm. today. And I, I see youth in sport and entertainment. Mm -hmm. But in my constituency, 
the sports, even in Nigeria generally, the sport is uh, moving at snail speed. Uh, so the the my plan, I, I spoke with uh, Kanu last month. I Kanu had, Wanko. Yes, with Papilo. Kanu Papilo. Hmm. I, I had a meeting with him. I told him my plan for the youth in my constituency. I not best, so. You never enter. Oh. You don't already they no, do they meeting. Already they so, so, now so why would they talk say make young people enter? Continue, no best. So uh, because I also have a popular quote to that effect hmm. that pe when preparation meets opportunity, hmm. success become inevitable. Hmm. Hmm. Success become imminent. Uh, I, 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 I'm not a youth that will come to the government and come out. I want to be the best youth ever in Nigeria that is a legislator and make a total difference of, make maximum youth, uh, use of that opportunity, mm. use it to serve people. Mm. So, and you know the main problem we have been having now until the trend change. Now, the people that are supposed to be in power are being made special advisors. Mm -hmm. Personal assistants. You can imagine. Some like, you like, know, like, go best. People it, just take Chigos Day from worry, making no con the warriors. Chigos Day, welcome to our city hut. Chigos Day, good evening. Hello, good evening. We, we greet, greet you, Chigos Day. Go ahead. Continue, Hello. continue. Would they hear you talk? Uh, how you doing, Kobe? We did fine, we did fine. fine. Talk, talk, we don't get tired. Uh, they enjoy the program, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, the action of the children that they talk, uh, the leader who will get here, they're not serious at all. Mm -hmm. the, the leader who will get here, they're not serious at all. Mm -hmm. I don't say no get time. I said the leader who will get here, they're not dead serious at all. With the year, with the year, continue. Nah. And they call this problem, what would, what would they get for this country? Oh, no, and I wish I see my Okay, thank you very much uh, for that um, contribution. Uh, at least uh, you don't contribute, uh, and then uh, we believe see the leaders uh, make them also um, hear what you don't talk. Make them also now they will take them um, sit up. So, uh, yeah, so honorable, would they hear you? Continue. So, like what the last caller just said now, mm. tally with what I, uh, I, I was intending to say. Like, uh, we are doing it the, the other way around. Youth supposed to be leading now. And the elders who are leading are supposed to be the advisor. So, but youth are made the, the advisor. Mm. Why those people that are supposed to be the advisor are made the leader? Mm. So, when when you put a square peg in a in a round hole, you are creating more impossibilities. So, what you're supposed to do is to allow the youth to come into power, then be watching them, not until when you die on that power. Mm. That you, when you youth now get there, they will not be looking for advice up and down. So they are the ones to use their experience to be the advisor. Why we, the youth, be in power? Mm. That's about that. And um, according to my plan, I've, uh, I have a formula for my manifesto. Uh, it's called C, S-E-A. So C in Yoruba means Odonla. Odo. That is big uh, ocean. So and in big ocean, we have so many things here. We have prawn, we have crayfish, we have crocodile, we have uh, different, different things you can talk of. We go make your body jolly, we go make your body fresh. And I told my constituents people, the last uh, counter we had with other kind of many, few candidates in uh, our King's Palace, King Asen, in the uh, King's Palace on Friday, we had a debate. So, and I told people there that this is Odonla coming. You people should know how to culture it well in order to be able to, for you to be able to get so many things from that mm, river. That so the full meaning of that C is social security, the S, and then the E is education, and the A is agriculture. Mm -hmm. So because I've scanned the environment, I've seen the main problem, and I've coined everything into three categories, mm. social security, education, and agriculture. And agriculture. Mm. So with, if I, if I focus on all this, on that social security, every other thing about youth falls in. Every program, free medical care uh, for the hold, for the everything falls in. In fact, I'm going to create a free tuition school. Hmm. Free tuition school that just bring your picking. You know, go pay school fees. Hmm. But for inside that school, you go buy locker. Now we go sell your school uniform for you and the book, the books that you're going to use, you're going to buy it in that, in that school. Mm. It's being run in Oshun State mm. and it's, it's also possible in your state. Mm. So it will happen in my own constituency in my reign. And again, apart from that, another thing I brought on board for people, there's an international NGO 
who are, uh, they came to Nigeria after Nigeria has been announced as the poorest in the world. So they came to Nigeria, they did this same program in Ghana, they did it in Kenya to liberate people. So what they want to be say, they want to empower people with at least uh, uh, between three to 10 million Naira. Mm. And this program is going on. I was the one who facilitated how this thing enter my constituency because I want the development of my constituency mm. and my region. And if this program kickstarts, about 5,000 people in my constituency, right now as I'm speaking, and people are still collecting the forms, and about 5,000 people, they are going to be a beneficiary of this program. Mm. The form is supposed to go for 1,000 Naira. Because I'm running, I told them that I will be paying for the form. Mm. I keep paying for the 1,000 Naira, and I've paid for like 2,000 forms. Mm. Now. This talk where you don't talk, you don't do very, very clear. Say, hey, hey, the people where you come from, where you did, if they do the right thing, mm. then go see the right thing. Mm. And everybody inside the Bodora, Nigeria, Election that to test the popularity of our preferred candidates. And when we come out and vote for them, they go win. Now you get this handshake. You do well. Thank what you, you go promise now? Say before that election time reach again. Mm. Uh, if you get chance, you go come. Any day uh, you, you call me, I go, I go come We here. appreciate our people waiting for house. We thank you now. Say you now join us. Until we come back again tomorrow. To enjoy more of this, our go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.